Gemini. This is going to be your bonus love read that you earned in, I think it was September. <laughs> I'm sorry, I apologize, it's so late. I was gonna do it in October and got so caught up with the busyness of October. <laughs> so we are getting it out and you also earned another bonus read so I will be doing your bonus read first. Um, Leo got the most views so Leo would usually come first but I'm going to do yours first for the month of December because you are all so very patient. So we're going to be doing your bonus love read. I have one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten love decks. So we're going to try to get this reading out quickly um, and go fast because I have a lot of decks but we dive really deep into the energy of your person. And this is why I have so many love, love decks because I am a love tarot reader. This is what I focus on. So let's dive right in. It's Bunny here. Welcome to my sacred space of love and healing. I love you, Gemini. Let's get started. Okay, sorry about that, Gemini. I am having some issues with my camera just shutting off on its own. I don't know why it's doing that. But I paused it so I could do a little heart chakra meditation to get in the mood for the energy of love. And I hit play and then I noticed the camera was not rolling. So I'm sorry about that. So you actually missed this incredible shuffle. I'm sorry for any background noise. My children are out of control today. They're fighting over every little thing. I don't know why. Um pre-mercury retrograde shadow or something um oh look at that a dead ladybug that's a good luck sign anyways so you missed the beautiful shuffle that i just did and you're not gonna believe this you cannot make it up i shuffled the first card i pulled was this absolutely incredible and i am so upset that we did not catch that on the camera because you know, you're just going to have to take my word for it. It was absolutely astonishing. I was shuffling and I pulled the first card and I went, oh my God, Gemini. I literally could not believe it when it came out. Look at that. We're starting out really strong. This is an amazingly beautiful connection. That's my twin flame card, right? This is my card of spiritual connection. You guys are connected to this person with your soul. This is your perfect match, Gemini. If you had any doubts about how this person feels about you or how you feel about them, don't doubt it anymore. This is your sign from spirit saying that this is a twin flame connection. You guys are connected at the heart and you're helping each other heal. There's the healing symbol, okay? Oh my gosh. I. Oh, I really wish I would have caught that on camera. One second. Come in. Okay, let's keep going. Sorry about that, Gemini. Had to pause it. My little ones wanted something. All right, what else do we have for Gemini in this beautiful connection? If you hear any background noise, I do have my washer going. I am multitasking. <laughs> and I have the fan on, so you might hear a clicking or a whirring. It's a little bit hot in here, so. All right, what else do we have for Gemini? Wow, look at you have both done a significant amount of healing. Both of you were in hermit mode for a long time. You might have felt like they were seeing other people. They weren't. It was always you. Okay. Oh, my God. Did you see that? Oh, I, I don't know if that came out on the camera. This card flew out. I, I did a small shuffle and boom. It's a marriage card. Oh my gosh, again, this is one of the marriage cards besides the Hierophant, you know, that um, for me in a deep love connection, whenever it comes out with the Two of Cups, it means marriage. It's the four pillars of stability that you create with another human being when it comes out in a love reading. So this would be like building a home together, raising a family together, building a life together, right? Sharing a shared purpose, as most twin flames usually do. Holy. 
moly, this is an incredible energy. Look at that. Page of Cups. You're getting all cups here, Gemini. They're so ready to offer you a cup of love. Oh, they're so in love with you. They find you very fascinating and childlike. And it brings so much joy to their life. They live for your laughter and your smile. They see you as very innocent and naive, and, and but in a beautiful, childlike way. I just keep hearing that you bring so much joy and love to their life. They keep wondering why they didn't do this sooner. Oh my gosh, there it is. Wow, this is an incredible energy. This is the energy of them coming forward and publicly declaring that you are theirs. They're done. They're done wasting time. This is going to be like, this is my person. This is my, you know, if, if next time you're out with them, I would not be surprised if they introduce you as this is my boyfriend or this is my girlfriend, right? This is my, my, the love of my life, right? Your, your Facebook status is changing to in a relationship. Oh my God. That's incredible. Oh, Wow, look at that. We have the energy of a fresh start. It's a fool. I pulled this from the bottom of the deck. I felt guided to. So you guys are starting over. If this is someone that you've had a past with, you guys are starting over together. If this is someone new, oh my gosh. They're so into you. I'm going to pull some Romance Angels cards about this connection and see what is see what they have to say about this connection <clears throat> i'm gonna try to just pull one card of each unless i'm doing like the love tarot okay or else this reading will get super duper long or unless i need clarification all right what is the main message oh my god it just popped right out retreat it's time to disconnect from the world so because you spent so much time in hermit mode and you've spent so much time Investing in the energy of yourself. That is what helped both of you to heal enough so that you could come into this connection. And spirit is still asking you to focus on yourself and also to focus on the energy of this connection. Don't allow outside influences in any way to influence this connection that you have with this person. Because... A lot of people will see your connection, not understand it, and get jealous because they don't have what you share. And they're not going to understand it. They're going to say, oh, well, because of this or because of that, it's not going to work out. And you do not need that type of negativity to taint this beautiful connection. Fuck them. Okay, Gemini? This is about you and about this person. No one is in this relationship but you two. Okay. All right. Moving on. Home. We are going to do the love oracle. Yeah. Spirit is really stressing that because I feel like a lot of people are going to have their opinions about this connection and they're not, you know, they're not having sex with this person. You are, you know, or you will be soon. It's only you two in this connection. Nobody else needs to put their damn nose in it, period. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what they think. Keep their energy away from yours and stay positive because this is the right connection for you. Okay? In all of my years of doing tarot, I can tell the energy does not lie. So at one point, one or both of you thought the grass was greener on the other side, right? Maybe they thought they had better options and then they realized it was, they couldn't have a connection with anyone else. It was always you. You know what I'm saying? They were just like, they couldn't move on, right? If this is someone that you've had a past with, right? See, the signs and the synchronicities kept leading back to you. That's why they couldn't deny this connection. Two, two, two. Everything that they did reminded them of you, no matter what it was. And they realized the grass wasn't greener. They realized they, it was you all along that they wanted. Oh my gosh. Incredible energy. 
All right. Um, what card? What deck are we doing next? We are going to do the Tarot of the Heart. These are all major arcana cards. Okay. Is this upside down? Yeah, it is. So we are going to pull one of these. What else does Gemini need to know about this connection, please? Thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for source messages. The energy is absolutely beautiful for you, Gemini. Ooh, the air signs are getting lucky this month. Wow, look again, we have the lovers. Oh, we didn't get the lovers. We got the two of cups. Same thing. <laughs> This is your energy. This is the card of Gemini, right? So this is letting me know that Spirit is saying they're aware of the energy of Gemini. Also, look at this. This is about true love. It's about this person making a choice. A choice to move towards this connection. Right? The lovers is about true love. It's about making a choice to love. They're in the Garden of Eden, right? They've tasted the forbidden fruit, and it was so sweet. And the forbidden fruit was you, Gemini. All right, what else do we have for Gemini? Wow, this reading has already been absolutely incredible for you. Yeah, I'm going to call you reading the Garden of Paradise. Oof. The energy here feels so blissful and beautiful. I almost feel giddy, okay? Like, oh, look at dark hair. So either you or your person has dark hair. That's your confirmation. We'll get one more. This is my random spirit deck, which just has random messages for you. But there's your confirmation. Spirit is saying if your person has dark hair or you do, that's how you know they're speaking right to you. Tiger. I don't know what that means. Oh my God. It was just 11, 11 on my camera when I looked. That's the twin flame number. The, the signs and synchronicities for you, Gemini, are incredible. This person is definitely your twin soul. Tiger. So this will, this will have different connotations and explanations for everyone. Maybe they called you tiger before. Maybe they said you were very fierce and strong, you know, like a tigress. Um, maybe they said, you know, maybe, maybe you, something to do with the tiger. Maybe you both um, see tigers often, right? There's going to be something about a tiger. You can also look up the spirit animal tiger and see what that represents for you. Okay. Maybe they're from Detroit. I don't know. <laughs> That's the, the, you know, the symbol of um, Detroit, right? It's tigers. Okay. So. Oof. I'm going to move on to my Lisa Frank deck. And again, like the Tarot of the Heart, these are all major arcana cards. So they get straight to the heart of the matter in regards to love. And I created this deck with just the intention of predicting love outcomes. All right, so what do we have for Gemini in regards to this connection? What else does Gemini need to know? Judgment. Both of you are at this energy of you have worked so hard to get to this point in your spiritual journey where you know you deserve each other judgment is about you have went and you have reflected and did a lot of self-reflecting you reflected on your relationships in the past and you realize that everything that you went through in your past relationships have gotten you to this moment where you're ready to experience a healthy love You learned the lessons. You took the lessons that you learned about your love life 
and you decided to use it to create your own healing and happiness, boom, bottom of the deck, the sun. Oh my gosh, this is such a beautiful energy. The sun is happily ever after. It's getting everything that you deserve, Gemini. I'm going to pull a grace card for you. What else do we have for the beautiful air sign of Gemini? What do they need to know about this incredible connection? Unbelievable. What a beautiful energy. Such an amazing love. All right, what do we have for Gemini and their person? What do we have for Gemini and their person? My Venus is in Gemini. I want to claim this energy. <laughs> mindfulness. Look at that. Both of you are in a state of mindfulness, right? Or you are, Gemini. This is about being aware that everything that you experience is you're experiencing it and you're observing it. You're no longer letting the drama of the moment take over. You're observing what you go through. You're allowing yourself to feel your feelings. You're staying present with them and you're letting the feelings pass through you. You're not letting your feelings dictate your life anymore says manage your mind when we direct our thoughts and words towards the outcome we desire we ignite grace so keep your mind focused on the gratitude and the love that you have for this person which will help it to multiply oh and look at on the bottom of the deck of the grace cards we have love oh my gosh this person is totally invested in you share your heart to love is the ultimate expression of grace allow yourself to love and be loved gemini okay don't let any self-doubt ruin this connection okay we're going to do a whispers of love card then we're going to move on to the who deck and then the psychic tear of the hearts, and we'll end with a final message of love from your person. Why was that card upside down? Only that one, weird, okay. So what is the message you have for Gemini from the whispers of love, angels? Thank you. It's been an absolutely beautiful reading for Gemini. I don't think I've had a reading this good for a sign in a really long time, Gemini. This is an absolutely incredible connection. I am so happy for you. What a beautiful, beautiful energy. I just keep saying that because it's so incredible. It says, slow down, pause, and allow things to unfold. Okay, try to have faith and trust that everything's unfolding how it's supposed to, okay? It might start out a little bit slow, but trust that spirit is guiding you and this person every step of the way. The fish represent fertility and abundance. This represents not getting caught up in the maze of your mind, not letting you know, your mind create doubt and say, well, in the past, this person, oh, well, you know, what if this person, oh, well, what if you're not? No, just allow it to unfold. Trust that spirit is has your highest good always in mind trust this connection right it's number nine this is also something about the energy of this person there's a lot of passion there there's the there's the flame which represents passion um the energy of this person is going to unlock your um something about your finances as well Nine is the number of abundance. And look, the card in the bottom of the deck, 21, choose love. You always have choice. Make yours with love. You add it up, two and one is three. There's a lot of soul growth. The butterfly represents the soul. And three is the number of the ascended masters. So you guys are perfectly aligned to your paths. Oh my God. Look at the next card true love all of the signs are pointing to this look that this person is equally infatuated with you we have number three again it's 30 see that 
the ascended masters, okay, are working with you. The angels are working with you. The ascended masters are like, you know, Jesus, Buddha, um, St. Paul, all of the saints, the archangels, right? They're the wise teachers that taught us how to, not the, not the archangels, that's not what I meant to say, um, but all the saints, the ones that taught us how to be spiritual, right? They're guiding this connection. And look, the next card, it's number 20. It says, I love you. Oh my God, I cannot with this, Gemini. And look, the next card, it's two twins, twin flames. You cannot make it up, I'm done. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God, I cannot. Wow, this is, yes. In the history of this channel, this is probably the best reading I've ever done, period. What an incredibly beautiful transformation that this love is causing. It's incredible. I see both of you learning so much and growing so much from this beautiful love. It's so pure. All right, what else do we have for Gemini? We're going to get two cards from here, Spirit. And we're going to move on to the Who deck and... Um, the message from their person from the Lemurian love oracle that I created. All right, what do we have for Gemini? Final messages for Gemini. Okay, we have four of swords. Just breathe, just breathe, just relax, just allow Gemini. Number four is the energy of the angels guiding everything. You don't need to do anything. All you need to do is be. All you need to do is exist, Gemini. And this person will love you. Right? Allow your soul to shine. Continue to just shine your light. Continue to just exist. That's all you need to do. Allow the energy of this person, wow, to just overwhelm you. Number three, share the love. This is the three of cups. It's so beautiful. It's the energy of celebrations. Again, it's the energy of it could be a possible marriage, right? They're, they're, this person is offering you their heart. Finally, finally, their heart chakra is cracked open. Again, we have number three, the energy of the ascended masters guiding this union. It is a divinely guided union. Oh my God, look at on the bottom of the deck. It's twin souls, look, again. They're one consciousness, one energy, one soul split into two. Oh my God, I have chills all over my whole entire body. I cannot even function. <laughs> We're gonna do uh, three cards from the three deck and then end with the message from your person. Unbelievable, unbelievable. Oh my God. I don't even know what to say. I just want to call this reading like, holy shit, Gemini, but you two probably won't allow that. Okay, so we have spontaneous. So this is the energy of like a fire sign. Could be an earth sign. But your person is very spontaneous. So if this person just tends to call you out of the blue or calls and says, hey, what are you doing? Can I stop by? <laughs> That's how you know that you're on the right track. That's the one. <laughs> right? Oh, look at that. Nurture. This person is very tender with your feelings they tend to be the type of person that will you know cuddle you when you're sick they will bring you soup um they'll make sure that you always have a shoulder to cry on when you feel under the weather they're going to be always supporting you and nurturing you they have a very beautiful cancerian 
motherly type energy, right? It's how they show they care. They want to make sure that you always feel seen. And then we have down to earth. So see, they could be an earth sign. So Capricorn, Taurus. What's the other earth sign? Virgo. But they also have a lot of fire sign energy. So fire sign is Aries, Leo, Sag. But they're very grounded. So they're probably a really hard worker. Um, very charming. Very charming, Gemini. Picking up the energy of someone who's very, very charming. It's like this energy of like when they smile, it, it melts, you know, people's hearts, right? They might get a lot of attention from the opposite sex, but they only have eyes for you. A lot of people are not going to be happy that this person is choosing you. Because a lot of person wants both of you. And they're going to be upset that you're both off the market. This is it, Gemini. You're both off the market. I'll tell you right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely going to call this reading just wow, Gemini, off the market. Okay, so your person wants to say to you, thank you for being you. Thank you for existing. Thank you for just being yourself, Gemini. Just shining your light in my world. It has meant so much to me to be able to just see you for who you are and you allow me to be myself and you don't judge me and it's so refreshing and so beautiful. Look at this. You have bewitched me. It feels like I'm under a spell when I'm with you, Gemini. I look into your eyes and it feels like I'm under a love spell. But it's just your energy. You have absolutely bewitched me. Body, mind, and soul. I belong to you. And then they have, I can't chase you anymore. So they don't want to chase you anymore. They want to lock it down. They're tired of the chase. They're saying, I'm done with this. I'm done with, you know, going back and forth. I'm making a choice, and the choice is you. Oh, my gosh. If something resonated, Gemini, what a beautiful energy. Um, please like and subscribe, and please share this with all your Gemini friends because Gemini has some incredible things coming in. Oh, one of my kids is crying. Um, if you want to book a reading with me, just click on the description box below. I love you, Gemini.